to my messy desk. Um, I'm actually putting some stuff away. I have my GoPro stuff out. I also have um, I also have my hockey gear out. It's all on the floor. I don't know if you can see it, but it's on the floor because I'm trying to fit um, my sled uh, into the grit HTSE uh, hockey tower bag that I bought a while back just to see if it'll fit for maybe travel purposes later on. So, but it occurred to me that that's I don't know, like I don't know if I want to do that just because I put uh, plastic guards on the um, what are they called? Skates, the blade, gosh, the blade skates. Um, I put plastic guards on those so that I can uh, go and sit in the sled on the little patch of um, a rug that we have in the living room and uh, practice puck handling and, and um, strengthening my wrists and whatnot. So I actually practice a lot at home too, uh, just because I know that my muscles need extra practice um, because of my injury and disability. So um, I'm always sure to work uh, just a little bit harder to get that, you know, 1% better uh, as my favorite live arter, um, WMMA twins would say, uh, just that 1% better. So I work a lot on that at home. So anyway, I wasn't sure whether or not I wanted to put it in the bag, but let's say that for maybe next February, uh, if I get to travel with the team to um, uh, California or wherever we're going, I wondered, like, how am I going to fit all that in there? So I took all the divider uh, organizational stuff out of that just to see if I could fit everything in. And I have a feeling that I can. Um, one of the goalies on the team, uh, she does it. And uh, she seems to just always have the answer to every uh, gear question I have, which is really fantastic. And I always appreciate her advice um, and her advice on the ice. I, I, she motivates the heck out of me. Anyway. Um, I was curious whether or not it would fit, so later on we're going to see if that, that'll fit as well. Uh, the other thing that I was testing out is I just got an omnidirectional um, a microphone so that I can play around with doing the audio separate from the camera and uh, a voice recorder and then put it together so I can do a better quality video for when we're in the shop. So um, bear with me on that. You know, uh, I'm a new YouTuber and trying to figure this out as I go. Um, my stepson, Tatum Zimmerman, you might wanna go check out his channel. Uh, he is, that kid's sense of humor just cracks me up. He's always been pretty awesome. Uh, not just cause he's uh, my step kid either. But anyway, um, I guess that's it for now. I'll probably make this video, I edit it down and make it a little bit longer so that we can test that on the directional um, microphone once I actually find my voice recorder. So forgetfulness strikes again. Okay, so stay tuned. I'll be right back and give it that. Okay, so I'm told that's how you begin the uh, recording process when you're doing your um, audio separate from video. So we did a video earlier where we were just using the camera for the audio. And now we're actually using a Sony omnidirectional tie clip microphone. So um, yeah, I'm trying it out, trying to see whether or not I can match this up so maybe we can do some better quality videos. Um, it's later in the evening. I just got home from school, been a master's program, and um, finished up editing uh, a video I was doing for uh, the hockey team. Uh, I think it was their second game that they played out in Colorado. Uh, during the Colorado, um, I'm not sure if it was like the Western League or um, or 
or what it was, but I know that we were 3-0, and so, um, anyway, this was just a, a video uh, to try an experiment and see how it works, and hopefully uh, this is a way better quality video and audio, uh, that way when we go into the workshop and fix the sleds or refurbish sticks or whatever we're doing in the workshop that day, uh, we'll be able to provide uh, a whole lot better uh, quality of um, audio than was happening before. I know it, there's a video on my um, channel that says warning problem with the mic and actually I think what the problem was is I had the wrong cover on the GoPro uh, which sealed it up real tight which was awesome if we were going to be underwater but we weren't so it cut off the microphone pretty pretty good uh, unless I was really close to it. So let's see how this comes out. But anyway thanks for joining me and uh, another video to follow. Thanks again.